Now, there is one thing you must know. By the oath of the League, those who bear its rune will see vermin. Vermin writhe deep within all filth and are the root of man's impurity. All vermin are to be crushed. The League exists to expunge all vermin, ridding us of any trace of human corruption. And so, until we are rid of all vermin, you must continue to hunt and kill. This bloody fate is ours alone. Do not expect the world to grasp our work. But remember, the Confederates will always have my blessing. And each other. Always. What is going on, you beautiful, lovely, untamed human beings? How are you all doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful day. So we are back with some more Bloodborne, baby. That's how we do. That's how we roll. This is a late night episode. It's actually like, what time is it? Let's see. About almost 1 a.m. But uh, yeah. <laughs> so that that's, yeah, that's a thing. Um, What are we going to do? <laughs> well, in honesty, we're just going to continue onward with our journey through the Forbidden Woods. Because I actually found my way around to the shortcut. So I have that open now. And yeah. We're going to try to make our way to the boss of this area and beat the boss tonight or in this episode. So that's going to be the goal. But I did an, I did manage to open this door. Um, I'm sure I'll show a clip of me talking to this creepy dude in the very beginning of this video. But yeah, so let's go ahead and head our happy Patukas back down to the bottom. Send that back up. That way the next time I come around, I, you know, it'll already be up there. Because Lord knows if I pass and disappear and these snake things murder me like they might, it'll be a bad day. I do not remember what boss is in this area, so yeah. But I'm just running through and skipping everything I can skip. Because why not? We don't need to fight. We can be friends. Tee hee. I still got it. Oh, snap. That's a big one. Those ones are problematic. Those guys can be an issue. Because they shoot things at you. Look at me. He's trying to bite me through the through the wall. Nothing there. Nothing there. Anything back here? Let's find out. Thick blood, cold bloodstone. Oh, there's something back here. Nice. Ah, oh, can't go that way. That sucks. Why would they let me through here? I mean, luckily I got rid of all my echoes before coming back here. So it doesn't really matter. Definitely not the way. Man, I'm too good. Get juked. Oh, there's a lot of them around there. It sounds like there's a lot of them. Let's see you. How how tanky are you guys? Oh, y'all ain't bad, actually. That's the big one that I'm concerned about. And that poison. I think it's the fire that's doing so much extra. Oh, we're super strong. We're actually doing a buttload of damage. I think those upgrades that I put on helped quite a bit. So I'm guessing fire is these guys' main issue. Stop it. Stop. Stop with the nonsense. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Fire. Fire does it. Fire does real good against these guys. That's gonna be my play in this area. Stop. I love that, like, quick step ability. It's so good. One thing about Bloodborne is just the movement compared to the other Dark Souls games or Souls-like games is so much better. That being said, Sekiro is probably a good runner-up now. Graveyard Robes. Nice. Mm. How do I get that? How well does this do? Let's find out. Oh, very well, actually. <laughs> Quite better than I thought it would. And I get stagger with it, so that's a plus. So back up here. That was a big boy. All right. Down here. Grab that. Oh, alien brain. Oh, alien brain. Not good. These guys are... No, no, no. Get out of here with your bulbous head. No, thank you. I don't want any of what you're selling. I definitely don't want any of what you're selling. 
These guys hurt. Like, I can't really do a whole lot. I think these guys are very durable to me. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I do stand a chance against them. Come here, Bulbous. Nope, never mind. Now, those ones that are all frillied out, bit of a different story. They shoot stuff at me. Look at them, look at them, look at them. They were ready to murder me. I knew I heard a big pig, a screaming sow. Whoa, where are you at? Don't, don't, don't run around like that acting all crazy. So these guys are a two hit with this. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna smush them. All right, so this must be the next way. Electrified bulbous brains. They shoot stuff at me. We don't want to deal with them, so let's keep on moving. Okay, that's a dead co-ops. Okay, so we're in a new area. So there's something over there to grab. How do I get over there? Do I follow this? Yes. Poison knives. Nifty. All right, we're back on the woods, but we're on the roof. What's going on here? Who are you? Who are you? Whoa! Blimey, don't scare me like that. On a night like this, I took you for a monster. Oh, thank the stars. You You're the normal. one with blood all over you and corpses Is around you. you. Put down that awful beast. Ooh, that thing had me trembling, frozen in my boots. And then you came along. Well, if you're a hunter, then would you know of any safe havens? Hmm. Well, I'll be. Thank you. It's about time I made a move. I, can't I don't trust you. I can't on my own. Well, you <clears> give <throat> me hope. Terribly kind of you. Take this. It's all I can offer us, thanks. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I can't very well stay out on my own. Mm-hmm. Thank you. It's about I can't very well stay out on my own. I don't trust you. You're you're surrounded by corpses and blood, bro. And you look like you were feasting on that one. How, how do you expect me to trust you? Like, is it, can I even trust you? So this guy with the cannon. So I don't know if I have to go down or what. I'm actually completely lost right now, but that's fine. We're going to figure it out. So I've gone that way. Have I gone that way? Did I go all the way up here? I don't know. I don't remember. It's one I wish I had a beanbag chair. Man, back in the day. Whoops. I'm running all over the place. Ignore me. I'm thinking about a beanbag chair. I'm excited. Huh? All right. So I know I got to go past Porky Pig. What is down here? Somewhere. There he is. Oh, homie back slapped me. He was like, yo, here, eat the backhand. Two hits at most. There's another pig right there. Item right here. Get ready for Piggy Boy to charge. Come on. Ow. Hurt, didn't it? Oh, that fire hurt, too. Oh, he died to the fire. <laughs> he jumped into the fire and I did as well. Good stuff. I don't know where that goes. I feel like down is the way. I just want to explore the upper part because you never know what you'll find. There's the boss fight. All right, all right. I see, I see. Let's go explore up then if that's the boss fight. Oh, okay. I kind of know where I'm at. I kind of remember where I'm at now. 
Okay, so this leads back up. That's where I fell down. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 we're close to the beginning. Let's see, I don't remember what boss this is, to be honest. I know it's not one of the harder bosses, but I can't remember which one it is. Oh, this is the uh, snake guys, the three of them. This is a three-man fight. Shadow of Yarn Yarnum. That's it. So once these guys get about halfway, um, they'll their snake heads will come out. I want to get rid of this guy because the fire is a pain in the rear, as you can see. As you can see. Because he's got so much range. Alright, let's get rid of this guy. Alright, chill out. Chill out just a little bit. I only want the fireball shooting one right now. Oh my gosh, see? Yeah, this is gonna be a vicious fight. Now I gotta remember how to get back here, like shortcut-wise. That was a lot more effort to get back here than it should have been. But it's fine. this. Thank you. play it around this right here this is what's going to give us our best cover to deal with these guys at least for the long range guy we're going to keep sword boy around here alright we're good Ow, that freaking hurt, dude. Let's go ahead and get back to this. Pop one of these. Chill out just a minute. 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 Chill out, chill out, chill out. Chill out, chill out. You know what? I think... I think, I think, I think, I think for there I am not. So let's go ahead. Oh, get off of me. Get off of me, guys. You guys gotta chill just a little bit. Chill just a little bit. Dude, stop. Lay off. Alright, so... We gotta get him about even. Where are you at, flamethrower boy? So, sword guy is just all over my biscuits. Flame boy... So I can stagger him, that's good to know. So 
So where are they all about to go? Yeah, that's what I figured. Oh, snap, dude. These guys are a pain in the butt, that's for sure. There we go. Now we should be pretty gosh darn good. Oh no, Lord no, I'm not killing her. Holy crap, I didn't even know I could attack her like that. I am so sorry, doll. <laughs> that will not happen again, I promise. Well, everybody, it's getting late. It's actually like 1.30 in the morning. I'm going to go to bed and edit this video for the next upload. But the next time we come on and play and jump on playing Bloodborne, what we're going to do is we're going to go finish off the boss of this area, the ghosts of Yarnum, or whatever the heck they are. You know what I mean, the phantoms of Yarnum, yada, 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 whatever. We're going to destroy them. We're going to smash them like bugs. So, if you enjoyed the video, smack the like button. If you want to follow along as I continue this journey and would like to see more content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. We're almost to 500. Peace and love, everybody. I will see y'all in the next episode. Later.